a bit shaky today. I don't know how. Put that on. Just a bit of a little mix in the car. Turn that down a bit. Got a horsey, so I'm just down. Yeah, it's Saturday. Normally I meet my friends on Sundays um, just because it's easier, but today is a Saturday and I'm seeing a friend. I'm seeing a friend. I haven't seen this friend in over a year, at least in person anyway. I think I've spoken about Jenny before. We did like Zoom quizzes in the first lockdown. We haven't been as regular with the Zooms over the past few months just because I think just life really. She's been working. I've had life and new job and everything. So I'm actually seeing a friend. And it's a beautiful day. It's like 15 degrees outside. So I'm wearing a dress. I've got my little jean jacket. I've also got a lighter cardigan with me as well so that I can put the cardio on if it's a bit warm or if it starts to get really chilly, I can double up. Yeah, it's all very, very exciting. So I'm off to see a friend and now I'm gonna rock out of my car on the way into the city centre. Because I live near Leeds. It doesn't take that long for me to get to Leeds. It's not like I'm going a really, really long way away. But yeah, I can't wait to see her. I think we've already said in messages, like, I can't promise I'm not going to cry, but I see you. <laughs> but yeah, so I need to go to the train, so I'll say bye. Bye. So I've got a big thing behind me right now. I'm not sure if you can see it in the reflection or in like behind me. That thing back there just honks at me in a 30 zone for doing the speed limit. It honked at me. Also, the point that it honked at me was like about 100 yards away from a speed limit change going into 50. This thing was obviously not doing the speed limit through that village because I was doing 30 and it was getting closer and closer to me. So, yeah. Arsehole. really don't understand honking at somebody when they're doing the speed limit especially when you're that big it's a big thing and I don't want that crashing into me no sir the car park is so busy today I'm just gonna pop you there was not expecting to be this busy but then again it's a Saturday and things are starting to open up again so yes it's happening See my friend. She's almost here. She says she can see me. I can see her. Oh god, I don't really think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually seeing her. This is so exciting. <laughs> it has been so lovely. It's just been so nice. I am so happy that I've managed to see Jenny after all this time. I mean, I'll admit, we gave each other a hug. <laughs> we had to. We were wearing a mask, we weren't breathing on each other, but we did have to give each other a hug. We just couldn't help it. Yeah, we went, had a bit of a mooch, because obviously the shops are open now. Um, I didn't actually buy, I think the only thing I bought today was some things from the body shop. I was looking for some new um, face cleansers, and so I was looking at the Camomile range, which I've heard some good things about. So I got that, and then Jenny got a couple of nice things to treat herself, because she has not bought herself clothes in like, a year. So she was very happy to get some nice things. It's just been so lovely to have a sense of a normal day. Yeah, it's just been a lovely day. It's been so nice to see Jenny. Oh, I feel tired, but in a nice way, because we've been walking. I think I've done about 20,000 steps today, because we've just been walking around Leeds. But yeah, it's been lovely. And now I'm gonna rock out to my music. See you tomorrow. Hello again, everybody. So, just to warn you, you might hear my niece shouting at Grandad because she's trying to do his makeup and he's not happy about it. So she's just done mine, so I don't know if you can see it. It's very pink. Lucy likes pink, what can I say? I've got a bag here because in lockdown, you see some important events were missed Easter, Christmas, birthdays. So I've been given all the presents. I see a Milky Bar chocolate egg here. That's going to be dessert tonight. So, thank you, Jenny. I think this one's the birthday gift, which I knew about. She got me Disney pajamas. I am so wearing these tonight. Look at those! There was 
point you were just like, do you want me to return them? It was just like, don't you dare return them. Because you were just like, oh, but you've lost weight. It's just like, yeah, but who wants to wear tight stuff to bed? I could totally see myself wearing that just out of the house as a normal top. Absolutely love it. Yeah, absolutely perfect, spot on, Jen. Then, we've got the Christmas presents. Now, I'll admit, I did all my shopping online, and so I sent her stuff through Amazon. Um, so it could be delivered straight to her door. Which she did for me as well. But she's also giving me these. So they do Debbie, they're from Jenny. So, let's see what we've got here. Oh. Oh. My niece will be very happy with this bubble wrap. It's got my name on it. It says Debbie, the Gin-dependent lady. I don't know if you can see that. That is awesome. If I decide to have a gin tonight, I'm having my gin in this. You know me so well, Jenny. Thank you. And then I've got the last one. It's unusually heavy, this one. So it is. Okay, just to let you know, Jenny. I don't think I'll get to use any of these because I think my niece will. They're bath bombs. They are bath bombs. You're hearing me over all the time. It's gonna end up with these. She loves bath bombs. I may have to hide them from her. <laughs> Look at that. Good old Aunt Bed, as she calls me, hiding bath bombs. How very dare I. <laughs> I love you, Jenny. I love you so much. I've missed you so much. Thank you for the proceeds that you helped on to. And it's been a lovely day. I love you so much. Oh. Friends are the best, aren't they? Yeah, thank you so much, Jenny, for those. Oh. I want a gin now. <laughs> I've got a cup of tea to do it there, but I'm now going to get to see about getting a, a G&T. Are you trying to get me drunk, woman, with the size of this? <laughs> thank you, beautiful. Mwah. couple of days has been a bit blech for me because I had two days at work while I was dealing with some back pain. My sciatica started acting up. Who knows what triggered it. It might just be the fact that I'm doing different treatments than I used to and my body's learning to move in a different way. Um, before I used to always get like tendonitis because I was doing back massages all day. Um, whereas at my new job the shortest treatment is 45 minutes which is lovely and I'm not doing massage all day because we've got facials and scrubs. If anything the treatment that I'm doing the most is doing like uh, neck, shoulder and scalp massages which is beautiful because that means I get to sit down for those. But yeah so I don't know what triggered this um, bout of sciatica but it's happening and yeah the first day that I went to work with my sciatica it wasn't too bad. I was moving around quite a lot so I think that was helping to ease the pain a bit. I think the day after that I did a couple of facials and I was doing scrubs 
and I was just had this niggling pain all day and then yesterday on my day off I woke up and couldn't move so we moved mattresses around to try and get me a more supportive mattress which I've now learned based on last night's sleep that I need to sleep in spare bedroom for a couple of days um, while my back is still recovering um, admittedly I'm moving around a lot more better now but yesterday I woke up was in so much pain but I managed to get downstairs and put pop the kettle on for my cup of tea and then my back started to go into spasm and it was my lower back and it was so so painful and um, if you're not aware I do live with my parents I'm saving up for my own place and so hoping the new job will uh, give me the um, money that I need to be able to find my own place um, I'm working on it but I must admit the fact that I was at home, it made me feel relieved that it happened while I'm at home because I can't imagine dealing with this if I lived by myself. Because uh, I remember I went downstairs, I put the kettle on, back started to go into severe spasm, like it was spasming over and over and over again. And because it was going into spasm, I started to tense up, which made the spasms even worse. And I was, I had my phone with me and I was just there thinking, does my mum have her mobile next to her? And I was thinking, I doubt it. So I called the house phone and waited for it to pick up upstairs. <laughs> and I was just crying down the phone to her, just saying, my back has gone into spasm, I can't move, and I was crying my eyes out, and my mum just said, just find somewhere comfortable to sit, I'll come down and make you some breakfast, <laughs> my wonderful mother, but yeah, so she came down, you know, she gave me lots of brief N, and I even had some codeine yesterday morning, because it's a muscle relaxer, and it was the point where we were just like, is this going to make me sleepy, or am I going to go loopy, but yeah, codeine always makes me go more loopy than tired, so... I got set up on the reclining chair uh, with a uh, hot water bottle on my back. I called my osteopath because I have an osteopath. <laughs> um, I called my local osteopath because um, um, normally when I've been there before it's mainly been for like my tendonitis and my tendonitis. And I think I've been there once before for my lower back. Um, but I called and was just like, I'm in a lot of pain. While I was on the phone to the receptionist, I my back went into spasm and I let out an involuntary. Because <laughs> uh, apparently I hum when I'm in pain. And she was just like, I can hear in your voice that you're in a lot of pain right now. And she said that she was going to, even though they didn't have anything, she was going to let me know if there was any cancellations. So I just had my phone on loud and next to me all day. Um, but then we realised that my dad actually had an appointment that afternoon so when my dad got back from golf he rang up and said um i've got an appointment but my daughter is in need of an emergency appointment so can we just swap the appointment around so that i went in yesterday and oh, it was magical it was magical for about it was about half an hour 40 minutes he worked on my um sciatica so my lower back into my thigh going up my spine and i didn't realize how much pain was elsewhere because the pain in my lower back was so bad I just didn't realize it was still in my thigh and it was going up my spine as well there was just so much pain in my lower back I just couldn't think of anything else I went in to the appointment barely being able to walk like a human being to actually being able to move and when I got home my mum looked at me and said you look so much better. I mean, I was still getting the occasional spasm, but def definitely not as bad as it was yesterday morning. Um, and now I'm actually be able to move like a human being. Like I've, like my parents are out walking today, so I've got the house to myself and I can move, which is a miracle. But I did wake up at five o'clock this morning in my room, realizing I was in a lot of pain. And then I came back into the spare bedroom with where my old mattress is. And it's not made up. It's not made up in the slightest. I just dragged a pillow and my duvet in and settled up. And I realized just how much comfier I was on this bed compared to the memory foam that is currently in my room. So I think until my back is back to normal, I'm going to be sleeping in a spare bedroom um, on my old mattress just because it's a softer mattress, which is why at first we thought it might be part of the problem. But my bed um, has now got a lower mattress and it's 
it's a firmer mattress and it's also kind of a memory foam type mattress so you kind of go into it and my back doesn't like that at the moment so I prefer the slightly taller mattress it's easier to sit on as well and yeah it's been a journey the past four days but I can move again I'm still aware of the pain down there but I'm at work tomorrow and I've been sorting out to either have the day off on Friday when I have my second appointment for my lower back or starting a little bit later so fingers crossed that gets sorted but I've been um, emailing and uh, chatting to people at work uh, trying to figure all of that out anyway I've got messages coming through Just texting people and letting them know I'm alright <laughs> impressive when everybody's phones and iPads are connected to each other I just sent a text to my mum and I could hear her iPad going off downstairs but yeah so it's still sore but I'm just trying to keep moving I'm gonna go have another cup of tea now and I've realised I can sit at my desk if I straddle my chair <laughs> so it makes me think of Chicago when I do that oh it's very dark so if I do it so the back of the chair is facing my desk and I sit on it kind of the wrong way around it straightens my back a little more so it doesn't hurt as much obviously I'm trying not to sit down too much today so I'm going to be moving around a lot but yeah that has been the last four days of my life <laughs> I'm just in so much pain well this is a vlog and a half isn't it anyway I'll go so I don't know if it's going to be the last clip so but yeah thanks for watching this random vlog thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next week with another video so if this is the vlog it'll be a book next week see you later Bye.